Okay, we're going to talk about the Metaneb. So the Metaneb is a great form of airway clearance. It's made by Hilrom. We can only use it in patients at this time that there's not one available for home use yet. You have to have um, an airflow meter um, or wall access. It has an on or off switch on the top. And um, there's different settings here. Typically, we will use the CPEP mode and the CHFO mode. Um, you can usually dial in about 20 centimeters of water pressure and we switch between the high and the low frequencies. And Caroline's gonna show you how to set it up. So we use disposable circuits here. And um, it just simply locks into place. Then you just have your basic nebulizer cup. Before I put the mouthpiece on there, what I typically do is go ahead and turn it on and, and kind of get a feel for the pressure. I just kind of include the opening because we're shooting for around 20 centimeters of water pressure, um, and that's about what I got. You may have to tweak it a little bit once you get it on in the patient, but um, that's looking pretty good. So then, then it's ready for the mouthpiece. Um, and the medications that we would run in here, we, we would we use, um, we can put albuterol in here, any of your bronchodilators, and we also do hypertonic through here. Um, we never do like your um, antibiotics or um, DNAs in the metanet. Our protocol here at Cincinnati Children's is we usually always start with the CPEP mode. They do two and a half minutes on that, and then we switch it to the oscillating mode, and they do two and a half minutes, and then after that five minute range, they stop and do huff coughs, and we continue to do that for four cycles, alternating between the high and the low frequencies. And now at this time, we're gonna have um, Trace demonstrate how to use the device. So we typically recommend this device for children, what, 10 years and yeah. older, and um, so Trace is, is right, at that, um, right at that age group. So he's going to try to demonstrate this for us. And like we said, we start on CPEP mode, and we're starting in the low flow um, setting. And I'm gonna turn this on, and Trace is gonna demonstrate the first cycle. So we would do two and a half minutes in CPEP. We're not actually gonna do two and a half minutes, but we would do two and a half minutes here, and then two and a half minutes in the oscillating setting. And that would be our first five minute cycle. And we do a total of four of those with half coughs in between. Okay, so the main thing for Trace is to keep his cheeks stiff. You don't want their cheeks to, to flutter out. So, so he wants to concentrate on keeping his cheeks nice and stiff breathing. and then breathing with the machine. So because Trace is a little bit younger and has a little bit of a hard time with the flow, you can also adjust the flow here. And we have um, put him on the middle, the middle setting. There's a um, little dots here that indicate the flow setting. One for low flow. He's on the middle one. You can also go down a little bit lower to make it a little bit easier. Okay, so if that was two and a half minutes, we now turn it up to the oscillating setting. So we typically, like I said, run our albuterol through there, and then if he would get a hypertonic or something, we would follow hypertonic with that. And if the treatment was still going on, because uh, the treatment lasts about 20 minutes, we would just run normal saline to finish out the treatment. So he's doing a very good job now, keeping his cheeks nice and stiff. You want to look for some chest wiggle and chest movement. And then stop and huff cough. So then, like I said, we would do um, two cycles on that and then flip it up to the higher flow setting um, and continue with that two, two and a half minutes on CPEP and two and a half minutes on the oscillating mode. Um, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, and, and the circuits are disposable that we use here. So, at the end, so after each treatment, they rinse with sterile water mm -hmm. and then they switch those out. Yeah, and just lay them out on paper towel to air dry. 